What's going on there, YouTube? Chilling with Twisted420 here once again, and today I'm here to share with you my love of tiny tech. Now, there's a reason they've been coming out with some tiny stuff. They got like miniature of tiny toys and stuff. But uh, I picked up a few things as of recent that are tiny. And the main reason, like, even if I don't use any of this stuff hardcore every day, it's just cool stuff to have. So these, I'll show you the mass produced pieces right here. So these little guys. Uh, little tiny TVs, they sell at Walmart for like 25 bucks. I got a Back to the Future 2 and a South Park. And you can see they're stylized. Old school TV, newer TV, and they even come with remotes. Look at that. You can pop them off. Let's say we want to watch a little television. And these are like 25 bucks. Yeah, like 25 bucks a piece. They also have a Friends version, the TV show Friends, and a couple of more. Batman 1960s. Come on, remote. Remote. What's the point of having you? All right, you know what? We'll just turn it on. But yeah, this is the South Park version. And let me lower the lights a little bit so y'all can see this stuff. Now, the thing about these things, these speakers are not great. But you got a reset button, channel up and down, volume up and down, and power. Yeah, the speaker itself is abysmal. But basically what it is, it's a bunch of little clips. And the screen is not of the greatest quality. Wait till I show you this little guy. You're going to be amazed. So yeah, like 12 clips. But isn't that cool? They didn't even edit the big fat bitch. So cool, right? Turn that one off. Here we got our Back to the Future one. It's just the fact that they're fitting screen, speaker, battery, all this stuff into things this small. Yeah, there's a little Back to the Future. They gotta do this one every time. They do a little universal opening. I don't know, kissing his mom. And these screens are kinda hard to pick up. Oh yeah. Just random clips from the movies. Yeah, that's all the clips. So these are cool. They're fun for 25 bucks. Oh wow, there's something. But this thing, this is a little DIY mini TV and you put it together yourself. It comes with all the parts. Um, and it was like 75 bucks originally, but they had it on sale when I bought it, if I'm not mistaken. And this thing is really cool. So I set this up myself. The screen and the speaker, oh yeah, the frame rate. <laughs> there we go. I set this one up myself. And let me make sure the volume's max. The little, look at this little remote, it works. Mute, power, channel, has a little battery in the back. I gotta try not to lose this little son of a bitch. But, RIP Betty White. So I got a full episode of Golden Girls here. But look how small, like this is the size of my thumbnail. And the audio doesn't sound bad. I got a little I Love Lucy on here. And it's a little crooked. I didn't get it in there perfect, but. Fresh Prince. This is a bunch of 90s commercials, like 40 minutes worth of 90s commercials. Pizza, pizza. How cool is that? And then I got a fireplace on there. So just got a few things on here. But this, batteries, USB charge port, screen, all of it in here. SD card in the bottom with my with my videos. Got Sunny on here too. How, man, I mean, just look at that. That is so cool to me. I didn't paint it or anything, but uh, I think it looks fine the way it is. I think that's just, that's just awesome. A little pricey for the DIY kit, but man, name, you know, something else is so cool and last but not least people we have the funky s this came from the uk i ordered it uh a while back i forgot i pre-ordered this actually and then when it came in i was pleasantly surprised so let me see if i can't turn this guy on real quick oh shit it might be dead i should have thought about this here let's plug it up we'll plug it up and uh, we'll get some power all right and here's the funky s people so let me lower the contrast a bit 
So this thing's super cool, super bright, very nice screen. And basically, this tiny little guy with shoulder buttons, speakers, battery, the whole nine, and the clamshell design. This tiny, oh, I put it in standby mode. But yeah, this tiny little guy is playable. Now, I got big fat fingers. It's not the easiest to play, but I can actually get down on this thing for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, put it up. And it has a keychain attachment, so if you want to bring it with you. But uh, yeah, I got some stuff here. Got Game Boy. I put a few, I don't have a ton of games on here, but I got a few. Game Boy Color, we got a few games. Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Gear, Sega. It's got a lot, bro. It's got a lot. Turbo Graphics 16, Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket, Wonder Swan. I even got PlayStation on here. A bunch of Rayman the Great Escape for some reason. Wow, did I put Rayman on there that many times? But yeah, this little guy totally works. So let me fire up some Super Nintendo. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's Mario. You can, yeah, look, I can resume my game. You can save your state, and when you close it, it goes to sleep. Yes, resume game. I'm not getting any volume on this guy for some reason. Uh, probably because it's damn near dead. But, as you can see, I'm playing this tiny little portable thing. And this screen is beautiful, too. Vibrant, colorful. It works really well. But yeah, you can just get on here, game for a little bit, put it in your pocket, and it plays up to PS1. It's pretty impressive, actually. And anytime, you can go and adjust the brightness, save the game, aspect ratio change. You can do all that. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I had to have it just because it's a cool little piece of tiny tech. So there we have it, people. Just a few of my little favorite things, all lit up, having a good time. I like a lot of this stuff. I, like I said, it's really cool to see that they can fit all these things. Like, look how far our tech has come. The tiny little circuitry, tiny little batteries. Anyway, I thought all this was really cool, and I wanted to share this with you, and I'll leave links in the description for everything that we had in the video. Until next time, people, y'all stay sexy out there.